you know what people don't understand is that life is all about relationship and action and generally the argument is that if everything is god's will and the world is an illusion then why i must do anything why should i act and uh, the thing is that let's say that this assumption is correct that the world is an illusion but to whom is the world illusion let's say you are in a dream right you are dreaming and in a dream somebody comes and tells you that the world is an illusion and you say okay if the world is an illusion if this dream is an illusion then i must not do anything then i must simply sit back and just let what happens happen now that is illusion propagating further illusion and that does not break the illusion so this understanding that world is an illusion this intellectual understanding does not break the illusion it simply continues perpetuates the illusion it brings more suffering so this invocation or, or let's say this insight that the world is an illusion this has to be understood that everything is god's will this has to be this has to become one's reality and the only way that can happen is to unconditionally accept the dream for what it is now in the dream like when you sleep in that dream when you totally accept that this is what it is and you spontaneously go with it you know you allow whatever is happening happen you don't try to wake up you don't try to manipulate the dream you don't try to cut the dream you simply let the dream happen that is when you wake up and when you wake up you realize that this was just a dream and whatever intellectual discussions about the dream life you had had no meaning at all similarly in the waking dream this life you are trying to get out of the matrix you are trying to crack the code you are trying to make it better you are trying to make yourself better happier calmer and at some point you also say that since this life is meaningless there is no purpose that means i must not do anything but you see in action is the highest doership because in action is the assumption that i know god's will i'll repeat in action is the assumption that i know that god wants me not to act you are claiming that you know your the ego is saying that i know there is no point in acting how do you know you have to act the action has to happen the decisions have to happen because if you do not act your body will become sick your mind will revolt against you in fact when you are idle all your mind is doing is it's turning against itself it is waging a war with itself so this whole idea that the world is an illusion it has to be understood that from what perspective did the masters say that the world is an illusion or that everything is god's will the perspective of the master of the teachers who have spent years in contemplation and have come to this insight through god's will you have to understand from what position they are saying that everything is god's will some people use spirituality to bypass what is happening in their life the troubles they don't want to face so they become spiritual or they act spiritually sometimes they use spiritual language in order to bypass that pain that suffering but you know that creates more and more suffering what we try to push away it comes back more and more and more so that is not the solution the solution is to accept this waking dream the way it is that 
in a nutshell is Advaita. That is the only way when the true understanding will dawn that everything indeed is an illusion. But it is a grand illusion. And the illusion does not mean that the character knows intellectually. The character, this apparent character has to act based on whatever knowledge it has in this present moment. So the character is not supposed to assume anything. The moment you assume, you say that I know God's will. And the limited, the three-dimensional character cannot know God's will. All the three-dimensional character can do is to accept whatever is arising, whatever is happening. We spend so much time fighting with ourselves, projecting everything on the outside world. We want things to be our way. We want to manipulate things. We want to understand the nature, the meaning of life. We want to make sense of things. We want that things should become predictable because that is where it provides us a sense of safety. But nothing can do that. There, is, there are no guarantees. There is no teaching on this planet which can get rid of uncertainty for you. Because you, by nature, are that uncertainty. The notion of you is an image. It is an illusion. So illusion coming to an understanding, an intellectual understanding, and the intellectual understanding is also a part of that illusion, is propagating that illusion in horizontal time, where time itself is an illusion. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but once this is known, once the acceptance is there, you're already out of the matrix. Then what happens in the matrix? What happens in the world? It doesn't matter much. You still engage with the world. Engagement is important. Action is important. Inaction is an assumption. But then action becomes conscious. Action becomes thoughtful. Action comes out of compassion. It does not come out of envy, jealousy, hatred, malice or resentment towards the other person. It comes out of love. Because the foundation of everything is love. You will hear most of the teachers say that it is all about love. But that love cannot be understood intellectually. Because intellect is a part, it's a formation, it's a form. The form comes from the formless. Love is formless. Love is dimensionless because it is infinite, it is the one. 